at you but not inviting you to that drive, right? <laughs> yeah, I was a little mad at that. Were you? Yeah. You two reconcile that later on? I, I think we just reconciled that when he was in Cleveland playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Really? We, it was a, After multiple championships? Right. It was a Thanksgiving and uh, we were all at the table and we just started talking about things and it came up and I finally got a chance to, you know, say some things that I wanted to say about it. What do you think you instilled in him that gave him his competitive edge? Um, discipline. Mostly discipline. I was military, so it had to be discipline and uh, the, the drive to want to be better than me. What I try to do as a father uh, for many kids, because I raised 12 kids along the way, uh, what I try to do is instill uh, leadership in kids and, and in hopes that they wouldn't be followers. Uh, one of the things we talked about was um, more men need to have that have a man-to-man -man conversation not only with their sons but with their daughters. I actually have a uh, non-for-profit dedicated to bringing fathers and children back together and it's called Propos Foundation. So that's been 40 years. I, I noticed you have a pen on your jacket. Yeah, what, yeah. what is that pen all about? Uh, this one actually is um, I just received it from the president, President Biden. Whoa, go ahead with your badge on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the Lifetime Achievement Award. And um, this is the second one. I got one from Obama as well. You have your own competitive edge now. You were able to, to fight your demon. And what made you realize that you had a demon that needed to be fought? Uh, I think I just, uh, first, the first thing that came to me about drinking was when my mom passed, I tried to, to be the strong one for the whole family. And I did that, and I buried her. But when I got back to Miami, I was crying the whole time, and I was drinking the whole time. So for like a, a whole month, I was just constantly drinking. Nobody saw me, and that started it. And then I got back into going out, and I was, I was out of control. And so... I think some of that made the news, made the press, right? Because I think the, there was a little period of time that the heat kind of banned you from the parking lot. That's another story. Y'all want to hear that? <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll let that go. But nah. you, we know. They can look that up. Yeah. All of those things in one made me decide it was time. You know, like, that was 40 years of drinking. And it, it made me decide that it was time for me to make a change in my life.